in the test suite, and we just see in the header file what we use in, in this class. This is the conversion of the same. We don't use setters here, we, use, we just pass everything in constructor. It has the small problem that uh, this solution doesn't not allow uh, to have circular dependencies, but it's good as well. And the method presented before is just a little different. Instead of the instance static calls, we just use the object that we passed before. So I started uh, to rewrite Kadu in that manner, but mm. It, uh, the result is that there is a big class that is called core that uh, creates all the objects and wires them together. So here we have four objects that are uh, responsible for handling plugins. And we create them and we set uh, dependencies explicitly so we know what we use. And if, if I use the virtual methods and the abstract object, then I could test that, but this is the next step to do. And to be honest, the class is very big. It has a very lot uh, list of objects that are created and connected. But uh, we don't have to do it manually. We can automate it. We can. The compiler has all the information it needs to do it for us. So if you, if someone uses uh, the C sharp or Java languages that have reflection and are byte coded them. There are a lot of uh, dependency injection frameworks like, like Spring.net, Spring for Java, and the best, I think, Juice from Google. But in C++, we don't have reflection, and that is very sad. But we have Qt, we have meta object compiler, we have uh, meta types. So I created uh, a proof of concept of, of that dependency injection framework in C++11, C++14, and its name inject. And as you see, it's a very clever name because it has Qt in it. And it works. It just works. I think, I hope that first version will be released in this year. The new version of Kadu uses that, and it works very well. So here's an example of a class that is injectable. So we have default constructor that is invocable, so we can create that object with uh, the meta object system. We have two setters that are marked with inject setter uh, tag. That, so inject know that it, it should use them uh, to inject dependencies. And here is a little bit more complicated class that also has default constructor with queue invocable and it also has a factory method named create configuration that creates other object for us. It also has one setter. And we need to teach inject which objects it should uh, know and how it should create them. So here we have uh, a model because we teach inject with, with some modules that uh, configures four types, configuration factory, configuration path provider, configuration writer. There are three types uh, that are created by default construction. And the fourth type configuration is created with the create configuration method of configuration factor object. Here is a second module that uses, that creates object itself and passes it and adds it to inject. And we have to create this object in the old way because uh, we use some information from outside, from environment that is not available in other places. So when we have some modules configured, then we can uh, create instances of them, pass them to the injector, and we are done. We have everything we need. The, f the configuration writer object is an, just an example how we can create how we, can we get objects from the inject, and it will create all required dependencies and wire them. And the last line is uh, what I think the main function uh, of Kadu should look in the next few years. So we just ask for one object, the application object, and everything is created and connected. So 
Before the release, I want to add more tests. I want to make it built with all major distribution. I need to add documentation, examples, and comments, but that's it. Code is already very, very, very well working. And in future, I would like to add more functions that are known from Juice. I don't know if you are familiar with them, but I don't have time to describe them, like scopes, like sub-injectors. Uh, I would like to add constructed dependencies. And signal slots auto-connection. This is the one thing that uh, is still taking a lot of code, uh, because I can only get an object from the inject, and then I have to connect it to other with signal and slots manually. But it will come in the next release. And when C++ gets reflection, I think it will be like 2020 something or 30 something, then maybe we will, I will remove the cute dependency from that. And here are some links, links to the code of the project, to my company homepage, uh, to Kadu project and to blog. And this block is not only about Kalu anymore, it will also cover the inject stuff. So thank you very much, and please vote for me. Thank you, Rafael Malinowski.